Stock Chartist is a powerful, easy to use charting and technical analysis application. Here we're going to give a brief demo of some of the features that Stock Chartist has. Doing a search on a stock is very straightforward. Click the search button, enter the ticker symbol, and you're away. So the chart comes up. Of course, we can look at the chart at different time frames. Here we have the six month chart can go down to a one-month chart or a three-month chart. The charts are initially shown to fit within the screen, but of course sometimes this compresses the data, so we can double-click the chart to zoom in and get more clarity. And of course we can swipe left or right to see different areas of the chart. The orange dot there will appear when we're zoomed in. What this orange dot means is that we can actually see detailed information for each day on the chart. So for example, if you press and hold a finger down and then scroll backwards and forwards, you can actually see for any given day what the detailed information is for that particular day. And you can scroll back and forth by holding your finger down as well. Of course, we can see different chart types. Right now we have OHLC bars. We can go to a line chart of the closing price, or we can go to candlesticks. All of those are available at a touch of the button for any time frame. Of course, we've got different chart types, different technical indicators are available. So if we just swipe across here, here we can see the volume chart, average daily range, moving averages, MACD, and of course, for any of these charts where we have the primary chart and a secondary chart below, we can zoom in on that secondary chart just by swiping up with the finger. And that allows you to see with more clarity the values for that secondary chart. And of course, swiping down with the finger will once again restore the primary chart for comparison. As with the basic chart, you can still tap to zoom on all these charts. And when the orange dot is present, you can see detailed information that is relevant to the particular indicator you're looking at. So in this case, it's MACD. We can see the MACD value, the signal value, and the histogram value. Of course, for all the technical indicators, we can change the parameters. The parameters are shown here for MACD. These are the default parameters, the standard ones that are used. We click on the information button. Here we can see the different chart types for which we can change values. So for MACD, we can change the fast period, the slow period, or the signal period. So for example, we can move that across to a different value, and so on, click done. And now we see that the chart has been altered for the new values. Of course, at any time, if you want to re restore the original values, you can just go back to the chart types page and click restore default settings and you can see that the defaults are back there and when you go back to the chart you're back to the default settings. Of course this all works in landscape as well as in portrait mode. All the functionality is the same so you can still zoom across, expand charts, contract them, all those sort of features are available as well as look at all the other charts got RSI, got Bollinger Bands, all of those charts are available. And of course, on an iPad, it takes advantage of the much greater screen size, so you get much bigger and clearer charts to look at.